Okay, everybody, this is do right and I ordered, just for mainly test purposes, a Durafide 1,500-watt inverter, 12-volt, 1,500-watt. Um, heard some horror stories, and I've heard people say, hey, not that bad. Um, this is this is what it is right here. I ain't, open no box. ain't even opened a box yet. It just came in today. Durafide uh, model S1500DI, uh, whatever, uh, made in China, of, 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 of course. So what uh, we're going to cut her open right quick, and we're going to take a look. And I've, and I've got a multimeter out set on high voltage uh, because one of the determining factors is, is whether or not this unit was even tested. And we're going to say probably not, but let's do try it. If they tested it, there's going to be a spike out of the uh, outlets even after however long it's set. They always store them. Alright. Now, um, that is one way to determine if it's ever been tested. The spike will be micros I mean microscopic. Uh, you don't have to set it for anything higher than as you see this little spirry here. Uh, I've got it set on 200 AC volts. Okay, you don't have to set it high at all. Um, likely you'll get something that'll just bump the meter. If it bumps the meter, it was tested. So we're having people, you know, say that them things aren't even tested. They they don't work. They send out bad ones. Well, uh, you know what? If uh, Durified the sellers for this is uh, full of crap, then um, well we'll kind of see that, won't we? So doesn't weigh a whole lot doesn't seem to be a whole lot to it for a 1500 I've got a 1500 probably twice this size and uh, I mean there's my hand that's 1500 watt you know gives you an idea all right my hands are quite big but the thing is is that um, I mean you can hear so the uh, the idea is is we're going to take and we're going to unbox this, or unbag it, sorry, and we're going to do a little test on it. Now they're normally, because of uh, the MOSFETs, there won't be any voltage sensed at the uh, DC input terminals, okay? However, there will be voltage available, and you remember your, remember your blades, get a little light on here. Remember your blades, your, your smaller one is your hot, no. and your common is your wider blade, that's your polarization, get them both in there, okay, and then we're going to turn it on, and we're going to see if we get a spike. Nothing. That was the end of I would like to say thank you for this great opportunity clicker. to show how great <laughs> the bloke saw on Wentz is. This was never thank you. <clears throat> well, we're going to find out whether or not it works or not then, aren't we? So, what I've gotten, uh, I, I've gotten people tell me don't buy a Durified because a lot of people get them and they're dead on arrival. Um, this has your standard 12 volts. I paid 40 bucks for a 1500 watt. I think it's like $58 delivered or something. And it comes with uh, very underrated cables. These are 4 gauge cables. And um, you know, 4 gauge isn't sufficient for 1500 watts. Um, that's about 130 amps. And that's not sufficient for 1500 watts. It is the absolute limit of what this wire is capable of. So if they, you know, if you've got a, uh, you know, let me explain the simplicity here on an inverter. All right, this is four gauge cable. That's just the absolute limit of 1500 watts. I think if my basic math is uh, is correct, you take 12.8 uh, volts and or 1500 and you divide it by 12.8 volts and you're going to get your amps uh, plus 11 percent now you remember that's your that's your usage loss and that's 89 percent efficiency 
So if it's 89% efficiency, or eight, if it's 87% efficiency, you plus 13%, okay? And that's going to give you your amps. So in, in this case right here, that's uh, absolute limit with this cable. So when they put the statements on these inverters, and I mean, I'm not picking on Durified. I mean, any company puts a statement on this that it's got a 3,000 watt peak. They're not functional. Don't believe any of this. The average capability doesn't exceed the wire. So, I mean, I could put one gauge or two gauge, probably two gauge. I could put two gauge on here, and if it is, if it actually will do 1500, it might peak at about 18 to 2000 watts. So, it might have a 2000 watt motor startup capability, and that's as good as it gets because if this is what is supplied to power it. What do you think is in here going to the board to make the voltage? Might be 10 gauge. Which might be a short, short run. But it sure as hell ain't no big monster wires. So, I just wanted to give you all a little update on it. Um, pretty simple setup on it. It does re recommend you put a fuse in, and Pokey recommends you damn sure put a fuse in. Don't put a 200 amp fuse where 140 belongs. Uh, if it's a 140 amp load, put it, put you know 10 to 12 percent over the load maximum capacity so that you don't have just a cheap crap fuse that blows for no reason. Um, and then when it hits 120 percent, which is normally when a fuse should blow, it blows. All right, so. As you've seen, it never shown anything on that. It was in the camera. It never flickered. That means it was never tested. There's always a discharge in the capacitors, and they're stored. And I mean, they drop down to practically zero, but it still discharges. I had a peak that had been boxed up for a year, and it had a 60 volt peak pop out of it. A 60 volt, you know, shot jumped out of it in about. Oh hell it just enough to flash the meter up and back down. That's the difference between a tested product and you know, put it in a box and send it. Uh this is that little durified. And that durified, uh, I did peek it out, I did blow its fuse, I did, you know, I, I pushed it. Uh it maxed out 1082, 1082 watts, that's it. They lie, they lie, they lie. It should be rated as a 1,000 watt with a 1,500 watt surge, maybe. Um, that's about it. That is the setup. That's the blunt. <laughs>